Let's take a problem on kinematics today. Two seconds after projection, a projectile makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal. After one more second, it is moving horizontally. Find the angle of projection. So let us draw the path of the projectile, which looks more or less like this. Let's say it was projected with a velocity u at an angle theta to the horizontal. After two seconds, let's say it attains a velocity v, making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal. Further one second, the velocity becomes horizontal, that is, let's say it is u dash. So at this point, the velocity in the vertical direction is zero. Now resolving the velocities along its component, we get u sine theta, u cos theta, v sine 30 degree and v cos 30 degree. Now we can see that in the system there are no external forces applied. So there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction. So the horizontal velocities become same and constant which is u cos theta is equals to v cos 30 degree is equals to u dash which implies u cos theta is equals to v into root 3 by 2 since cos 30 degree is equals to root 3 by 2 is equals to u. Let's say this is equation number 1. Now that was the case for the horizontal velocity. Now along the vertical direction, let's write the equation of motion along the vertical direction. We get for these two points, v sine 30 degree is equals to u sine theta plus a into t, where a is the acceleration and t is the time of travel. Now in this case, acceleration is g, which is the acceleration due to gravity. So minus g because it is acting downwards whose value is 10 meter per second square and t is 2 seconds. So we can rewrite it as v into 1 by 2 since sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2 is equals to u sine theta minus 20. Let's say this is equation number 2. Now writing the equations of motion for these two points we get 0 is equals to v sine 30 degree plus a into t dash because at this point the vertical velocity is 0 and t dash is the time taken for the velocity v sine 30 degree to become 0 at this point. Now t dash is 1 second that is the time of travel and a is the same as the acceleration due to gravity which is minus g is equals to minus 10 meter per second square. So this equation becomes v into 1 by 2. We have just written the right hand side on the left hand side. Minus 10 is equals to 0 which implies v equals to 20 meter per second. Let's say this is equation number 3. Now solving these three equations, that is equation 1, 2 and 3, we get u sine theta minus 20 is equals to 20 by 2 since v is 20. So u sine theta is equals to 30. Now dividing equations 1 and this equation, that is the equation that we got here, we get tan theta is equals to 30 by v root 3 by 2 is equals to 30 by, since v is 20, root 3 by 2, we get cancel, 
this minus this, this. Therefore, tan theta is equal to root 3, which in turn is equal to tan 60 degree. Therefore, theta is equal to 60 degree. So the angle of projection of this projectile is theta is equal to 60 degree.